Okay, friends, taxonomy is hard, and I'm not an arachnologist, so I've had a moment of confusion here. So what you're looking at is I've, I'm cleaning out vials, and I've just put Vera and her consort into a petri dish so I can watch them a little more closely. They are currently rather frantic because they didn't like being pulled out of their vial. So they're all prowling around, leaving webs all over the place. They're really hard to track. But here's the deal. I identified these as Parasteatoda tepidariorum. And I went and looked things up and I used a dichotomous key and I figured out a bunch of stuff. And I'm pretty confident that's what they were. So let me read the description of what they're supposed to look like. So, Parasteatoda tepidariorum is a medium-sized to large cobweb weaver. The abdomen appears teardrop. Teardrop-shaped as the spider hangs upside down its web, spinnerets uppermost. The cephalothorax is tan or brown. Abdomen color is extremely variable. This is what's throwing me off. Uh, it's usually shades of light brown with a mottled appearance. And I think if you look at this guy, at Vera here, that's that's light brown, mottled appearance. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, some individuals are nearly black, others unmarked and pale. So it's basically telling me you can't use these modelings and colors and patterns to identify spider species, at least within this group. Uh, the legs are darker at the joints. There's a male right there. There's the male with it. And you can see that clearly there. It's also true. Yeah, look at this. This description just fits her so perfectly. Um, let's see. Here's, the, here's another key thing. The egg cases of this spider are tan and teardrop shaped point uppermost. Okay. Now, Vera is wild, ca wild caught. The male here is the first generation of lab-bred spiders, and I know exactly what his egg case looked like. It was tan and teardrop shaped. So, yeah, this this is this is the son of Gwyneth. Gwyneth was Parasteatoda tepidariorum. I'm pretty sure. This is Vera. And just looking at it from this description, I'd say, yeah, that's Parasteatoda tepidariorum. But I am not a systematist. I am not an arachnologist. So here's, here's what confused me. Another species that's supposed to be found in this range is called Steatoda triangu triangulosa. And I was not sure from the description whether this was Steatoda triangulosa or Parasteatoda. So I, let me read this description to you of Triangulosa. The cephalothorax is reddish brown, the legs are light brown or orange with dark brown bands. No, that doesn't really fit here. The abdomen is light brown with two rows of angular spots or bands of dark reddish brown separated by white areas with a mottled appearance. In some individuals this pattern looks checkered. Huh. Not really. You tell me. Are you experts at this? Because I'm looking at this and no, I don't, I don't see the checker pattern that I'm supposed to see. I do see some white areas and some dark areas. So, not really. But then, here's the killer. The egg case is a fluffy white sphere. Not the tan teardrop shape thing. And the other day I reported that Vera had produced an egg case. And what had me baffled was it was a fluffy white sphere. As you'd expect for triangulosa. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm confident the male here is Tepidariorum. The female, I was fairly sure from the description, was going to be Tepidariorum. 
But then I looked at her egg case and I'm I'm just confused again. Okay, so the question then would be what's in the egg case? So do would it be a hybrid? Could be. I don't know if these hybridize. Um, could it be a sterile mess of dead eggs? Could be. I don't know. That was my worry. Um, so today I came in and the plan was let's open up that egg case. Let's see what's in there. And uh, okay, this is this is where the bad news comes in. So let's see. Friday, it was this nice white, pure white sphere with little fluffy stuff. It looked like it looked like something made out of cotton. Uh, I fed them Drosophila, so they had lots of flies to eat, which have all been consumed. And then today I go in to look at the egg case. Let's take a look at it here. And there it is now. It's just been demolished. There's nothing in there. And any fluffy whiteness is gone. Huh. So I am totally baffled. <laughs> and that's not good. What I see inside there is the same sort of dried up, hard looking structures that I saw in the previous eggs, egg case I opened up. <sighs> so what's the answer, people? Any spider experts out there who can tell me what's going on? It was so promising there. I was looking forward to working with embryos this week. But I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move Vera and the son of Gwyneth into a fresh file and see what happens. Huh. Man, this spider breeding is harder than I expected. We'll work it out. More spiders coming up. We've got a whole bunch of them that are nice juveniles that are growing up. And uh, I think my next effort is going to, inter to be interbreeding the sons and daughters of Gwyneth, who I'm all confident are Parasteatoda tepidariorum. Who knows what Vera is at this point? <sighs> okay, back to work.